Welcome back everyone, I am Brian, you are Chords and Notes Nation. You have been invited once again into my living room so that we can listen to the master as he is going to give us his rendition of Iwan Falls, Galan Rambu Anarchy. It's a finger style cover, he released this six hours ago, he's already got 110,000 views up on it. That's awesome. Uh, and this can be found on the Aleph Bata YouTube channel. Now, this is labeled as a part two reaction because I did listen to a live performance by Mr. Iwan Falls of his original song. Uh, I wanted to get this background of oh, who is this Iwan Falls. Um, and I have did a little bit of research and I found some information out. So that you'll you'll find out in the other video. Please go check that out. Uh, and then and then we can watch this one together. And I'm interested to hear Alep's, uh version of this, his interpretation of that song. Uh, he always does an amazing job, and I wonder if he's going to be singing or not. Ah, we're going to find out, because he's been doing that a lot more mm -hmm. recently. So, here we go. It's always such a good sound with his guitar. Whew, always such a good sound.
the scale. Hey, by the way, I did react to Negariku, uh, if I said that correctly. Um, you guys check that out. It actually is one of the lowest viewed Alec Bata uh, reaction videos that I have. I've reacted to many, many of his, uh, and I was rather surprised. So I don't know if you guys were getting it in your feed or not. Uh, you guys, but go check it out, okay? Go check it out, please. Now, I love this interpretation of this song. The original was very fun and very, very nice to listen to. And this is why I love fingerstyle covers, and I love how Alapata, I just love watching him play. Because what you're doing is essentially you're combining the harmonic structure of the song along with the melody, and you're playing both. And you have to do both seamlessly. Uh, and that's not always an easy thing to do. And the harmonic structure really was carried by that walking bass line that he did. And that's done basically with his thumb um, on his playing hand, so his right hand. And it's basically bouncing between the low E and the A string, uh, whatever notes that need to be heard on there. fingers on the other strings are, are carrying the melody and the melody is basically the vocal lines right so you have to be very dexterous to do that um, have have a lot of dexterity is what I'm getting at and it's just I don't know the, the way he plays it he always brings this this joy and this love that's the number one thing I think I've ever noticed on any of his songs that I've listened to is this this feeling of joy and love and appreciation of the instrument and of music that's what he brings you get that sense of that coming out of his playing style but his fingers are you know first of all uh, here we go so his finger position is really good okay that thumb is basically you, you really kind of want it to follow the second finger here the middle finger all right if it follows the first finger, that's fine as well. It's going to have to rest in a position that's comfortable. You just don't want to have that awkward, you know, uh, reach because that will affect how you are able to use these fingers or not. And the way that he's sitting is not exactly a traditional style of playing. All right. So he's got, he's kind of tucked in like that next to his body as he's playing and it's shifted over a little bit, but it's in a position where he's relaxed and he's comfortable and how he has his hand uh, sort of resting on the bridge down here or just above it okay is is interesting as well um, well it's actually on an angle so it's it's probably resting here because his fingers are just above the bottom part of this sound hole So the way he has his body um, formed is comfortable for him. And it's not necessarily a traditional playing style. They teach us to play a certain way because it, it opens up the, the arms and the hands to be able to move uh, in, a cer in certain directions, uh, whether it be up the fret or down the fret, whatever, uh, without, and the hand positions, without it... Uh, creating uh, mistakes is what I'm trying to get at. So body position is very important. Um, it's, ex it's like I do martial arts, right? So if, my, if, my, if I'm doing a kick, a roundhouse kick, and my leg is not uh, the leg that I'm going to be uh, putting my weight on as I'm lifting the other leg, if it's not in the right position, I'm not going to execute a good kick, and I'm going to be off balance, and it's just going to be kind of sloppy. So it's the same kind of idea. Right, you want to have a good body position. His finger style technique. I'm not a finger style player per se. I do play finger style, but not this way. Um, I just kind of pick things up along the way. But as I've noticed, you know, he's he's using all of his fingers. Uh, that pinky finger isn't always used. Uh, these are the fingers that are mainly used 
uh, but that pinky comes in very handy once in a while when you really need to reach for those higher notes or different positions. So again, once again, you know, an unorthodox posi body position, but very good hand technique, uh, very good smooth playing. Uh, it comes across as joyous. It comes across, I think it did a, the original a lot of justice. In some ways, it might have been a little bit more entertaining than the original, uh, just because you're listening to one instrument uh, basically delivering all of the song uh, versus different instruments and a voice kind of, you know what I mean? So it's all personal preference, but very good job, Mr. Alapata. As always, it shows us why he's the master. It also shows us why there is so much amazing music that comes out of Indonesia. It's untapped uh, resources there as far as uh, music enjoyment. So cool, very cool, and I'm looking forward to more from him. God bless you. Jesus loves you. Thank you so much for being here. I will talk to you later.